you go. That's what you need. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> Let it dissolve properly. <coughs> so, welcome to the Curly Crits of Croydon. Good morning. Uh, yesterday I did Loose Woman, and afterwards I went for drinks, and then for dinner, and so today I've got a hangover. Dean's got a hangover because she was partying with her friends. I was partying with my few friends. That impromptu Friday night, like, shall we all hang out and sing silly stuff? silly songs and drink lots of mixtures of wines, etc, etc. But we thought that was quite relevant because yeah. today we are doing student survival packs. Um, but also this is for anybody that wants budget, friendly, easy to cook, quick. super quick recipes. Yeah. So I got a whole batch of stuff from Essentials in Waitrose and Dina got a whole... Where did you get your stuff Aldi. today? Aldi. Aldi. And um, so... What we'll do is we'll run through everything that we bought once we've got the, the dishes on, right? <laughs> it's already it's on, it's on, already hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, let, let me hang on. Hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, guys, whilst, whilst they're working out what the hell Nadia's talking about, share with us your hangover cures. Let's get some... <laughs> you didn't let it dissolve. Oh, my God! You didn't let it dissolve. I just got oh, cuz that's in my mouth. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of bloody video clips of you going, told you. I told well, you. I am the big sister. Which is that one of me falling into the into the hot tub. Oh yeah. So funny. Anyway guys, share now your uh your yeah, hangover. <laughs> I am. Um, we are both massive believers in the excess. Zoe, Zoe says a big bag of what's it some water. Oh, well, I used to do what's crisps, it? but we're too we're too old. Yeah, crisps. Of of once you pass fifty six, yeah. crisps it's don't. Right. Um, crisps I don't work. always have. This might sound weird, but um, uh, vegetable bouillon. Because it's really salty with hot water and so lemon. So it's a bag of bloody what's No, but I don't. Okay. What's it's a very cheesy, <laughs> funnily enough. Jules, can of Coke and a vitamin C tablet, Lisa Lou, bacon sandwich and a can of Coke. Nico and Marcella, I used to do this on Iron Brew. Oh, oh yeah. Iron Brew. Yeah, I mean, when Nadja was Orange working on um, that programme, what was it called? City Hospital. Years and years and years ago. Do you remember a nurse saying to you, Always pop two paracetamol before you go to bed. That's not true. Oh, they should, you mustn't do it, it's bad for your liver. Oh. Well, don't, don't, don't. Don't do that. Right. Hang, okay. on. Hang, on. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I feel some dodgy advice is coming our way right yeah. now. Don't do that. Okay, I want to ask Dina if she knows what this is. My favorite thing is a rehydration sachet and an Alka-Seltzer excess. Why are you both doing that? Because you're feeling oh. very Arabic. Do you think yeah. I could just cook in my bra? No, no thank oh, yeah, you. <laughs> Dina, do you know what a champagne hand bath is? No, no, no. No. Don't encourage him. No. He did this on Coffee Money the other day. Say to him no. No. Uh, no, I don't want to know. No, no I don't want to know. Right, we've got you to get do food. do what she does want to know. We have got to get food in the oven, right? Yeah, lots to do. So. Bonnie Delaney, no. Mark, no. <laughs> no. So, we were talking to um, Dina's son last week about about real student food yeah. because we were looking around at good housekeeping or everything is there ooh, beep, beep, beep. all bollocks all that fancy stuff mm -hmm. he said we said what what's the most important utensils a wok he said all Where's students cook in a wok so that's dina's very seasoned wok that she got in chinatown got a big wok mine's a fancy <laughs> wok now, a poncy so, wok, I'll call it. Poncy wok. So I've boiled the pasta here in the wok because I'm going to be making a pasta salad. And then I'm going to be also making a really easy veggie chicken or egg uh, ramen because oh, students love, love ramen. I mean, all young... Well, well, Maddie you know makes, what a ramen was at that age? Maddie makes a ramen every day. Every single day our eldest makes a ramen. So, and then I'm going to do a easy like roast dinner in a Yorkshire pudding for when they're feeling homesick or indeed when you are. It's not just for the students, it's for anybody. All the dishes we're going to do are going to be a, a meal for one, really. Yeah. So you just multiply it. Can you show a happy birthday to Tez? Happy birthday, Tez! Happy birthday, Tez! What a beautiful day for a birthday. <coughs> I only ever used to... Did we... Eat those. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what we said. So you do a whole batch of baked potatoes, 
so that they've gotten through the week to do for wedges and all of that. Dina's going to do the first dish, but before she does, that's I want to get... That's not what we agreed. Yeah, because I want to get my Yorkshire pudding in. That's, Remember? That's... I okay, Yorkshire pudding. all right, okay. That is pointing a lot. Have you noticed? Yeah. She's pointing, I think she's, it's, I she's think it, it, it gives her some direction of her brain, because her brain is not in any good place today. It anchors her. Whilst uh -huh. I was heating up my oil for my Yorkshire pudding, I put my sausages... <laughs> I'm doing in the middle of a recipe. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing Yorkshire pudding, sausage and mash, easy Sunday roast for students, right? So whilst I was heating up my oil for my Yorkshire pudding Pointing. that we're gonna <laughs> that we're gonna put on. Without the arm, it would be useless, right? <laughs> oh now. my god, I'm so struggling. So um, yes, whilst my oil was heating for my Yorkshire pudding, I cooked my sausages. So for any, for any vegetarians, you just use veggie sausages, but I've got gorgeous pork sausages. So I made a big batch of Yorkshire pudding, right? Because Mark later is gonna show you how to make apple fritters. So we'll use a Yorkshire pudding base, but we'll just add some other bits to it. And then he's gonna do some fried apple fritters, which will make a really nice dessert to a, I'm on my own away in university and I want a... I hope I'm going to be using a fucking and, mandolin. And I want a Sunday roast. This will be nice because mum, mummy's not there, daddy's not there to make them a nice apple pie. Okay. So oh. it's really easy. I've shown you before on here on how to make a Yorkshire pudding. So I've made a big batch, but if you were making um, one for just two people, you would use 70 grams of plain flour, not self-raising, pinch of salt, um, two eggs, and 100 mils of milk, roughly. So you want, so far from you, want batter. you want this kind of consistency, like a single cream. Batter is better if you leave it for half better an hour. Better batter. Better batter. Your batter matters. But you can also buy those big Yorkshire puddings already cooked. Have a natter about your batter. Have a natter about your better batter. Um, very, very, very important. Watch Please, matters. everybody, when I walk over there, say to me, don't touch the handle of the sausage Hang on a minute, pan. hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Gabby, when you cut together the compilation, can you just do a little montage of her pointing? Don't touch the frying pan. That will sear your hands. I'm not I'm touching so a pan with Turn sausages in it. I'm, I am so scared that I'm going to touch that pan. You look scared of life, Maggie. I am. I've got to hang you out. You look scared of everything. So very, very important. Can come, and, come and see this. Your oil must be quivering. Shall we right? quiver? Look, so, quiver? so it's quivering. It's going da 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 da. I've got that on at 200. Um, fan, so that's 220 if not for our Yorkshire pudding. So when you put your Yorkshire in, it's got to go. If I now do this and it doesn't go, I'm going to cry because I'm not going to get a high Yorkshire. I'm finding your intensity slightly annoying. It's because I'm trying I to hang on with my fingernails. It's keeping her alert. Yes. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Because yeah. actually, I should be lying in bed with a You're with just, a just with a vegetable leaving. brie on and a packet <laughs> of what sits. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Kiwi so, Wendell said, Nadia, are you okay? You know when you've got that alcoholic heat in your body, that's yeah. what I've got. I'm so hot. I might have to put a bikini top on. Don't I'm not kidding. Do you know I can't wear clothes? It's not called uh, the kinky cooks of Croydon. Well, now, now we're talking. <laughs> Say that again. It's not Say called the kinky, kinky cooks, cooks of Croydon. <laughs> Oh, well, I like that. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put my batter in. Remember, I've made a lot more batter. Kinky batter. batter. <laughs> and then we're going over to Dina. Finally. After she said, you're starting. No, I said I'm doing the York. She's cooked a first. See? In it goes. Oh, oh my God, I want to kill myself. It didn't sizzle enough. Oh, no. Nice. But it'll be okay. Watch your feet. Oh. Right. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I am going to make a chili sin carne. Which means sin without means meat. without meat. Hey. Hey. So my son went to uni in 2017. We're going to put the link up actually of the vlog of when he went off under here because because it's pretty hilarious. She does her whole her whole box for him. And she was so upset. I made a box for him about that long, which has all his food, all his spices, all his herbs, all his medications, every <laughs> single thing, and his bandages, every single thing he needed in it. And a bow and arrow. Um, <laughs> and uh, he he went vegan, vegetarian before me. 
at uni. That's weird, isn't it? Well, because yeah. they just couldn't afford the meat. the meat. That's what that's what they all say and with meat. So a lot of this is kind of veggie. What I have discovered from his age group, so he's 25 now, but they all really embrace cooking at uni. Not like the old days, you know, like your days, Mark. Yeah. No, we didn't at all. No. no. And so his, his flatmate, so Paddy's brother, would make sourdough bread three times a week for the whole flat. Sourdough bread? For the whole wow. flat. Wow. Plenty of young people. Wait a minute, he's got too much time on his hands. He I must know. have been doing it. I mean, it. he's such a good cook. Yeah. I know, I know he's a good, good cook, but I mean, my God, <laughs> sourdough. So he I think, my son. you know, a lot of students really need to think about, for cost-wise, going well, vegetarian vegan. We were talking about vegan. yesterday on these women. It's like young people now making their packed lunches to go to work because, do you know, all the sandwiches, pret and all this, they've all I doubled a... in price yeah. in the last few yeah. years. So students are going to be cooking a lot more now because they just can't afford it. Yeah. But all of us, I mean, I make a packed lunch. I, I never, ever bought a lunch when I, went, when I was working at school full time. Always, it's so cost effective. Anyway, so in here, for those of you who haven't got students or just want a quick vegan chili con carne, chili sin carne, okay, an onion chopped and fried in some oil until it's brown. So I was cooking with my friend Wendy the other day. She's a friend of mine, 45 Hi years. Wendy. And she Hi, said, Nelene. Hi, Nelene. <laughs> um, she said, oh, I get why my food always tastes horrible. Yeah, because um, she never has, ever has cooked an onion. She never cooks an onion. She Pop puts it in. it in a pan and goes with the oil and that's it. And then everything else goes in. You've got to spend time. So this is the only time you've got to spend on this dish. A little bit of love. Right, so. Every and in here, if you wanted meat, you would use yeah. mince or, in fact, veggie mince yeah. is cheaper. And you can use dried mince. If you want to make your kids a, bo a survival box, put some dried mince. Dried... I so I, I put a box of them. mushrooms in here. Again, mushrooms, really cheap, full of vitamin D, protein. They're just fantastic. Okay, so every student needs to have in their larder cumin, oregano, chilli, um, Garlic granules and curry powder. That's what Finn told me. Anyway, so I'm going to put that says some. Ashley said the boy who makes sourdough must come from a very rich family. <laughs> 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 no so over here, no, should, I do I a, do. should I do a bit yeah. of what's in my pack? So I, I got to. I'll just say, I've just put cumin, oregano, and chili flakes in here, okay? Okay, so I've Before got. I've got tortilla wraps, I've got stock cubes, tuna, peanut butter, oregano, tinned sweet corn, plain flour, eggs, mayo, uh, an onion gravy because that will go with chicken, veggie, beef, whatever. These are much cheaper if you get dried noodles, but if you're sending them off, maybe for their first few days, some just ready cooked ones. Um, tinned hot dogs. These are this, this, this is the way to eat if you are a student or if you are budgeting because um, tinned beans are so cheap and they are packed full of nutrition and fibre and everything you need. So that is the way to save money. Using your tomatoes? No, you can use them. Tinned tomatoes I put in, I put essentials, um, pasta, cumin, black pepper, chilli flakes, garlic, curry powder, eggs and smash. Make smash. And we're going to be using Smash today for my I'm so lonely and I wish I was with my family. Um, Listen, they don't get lonely. You get lonely. Yeah, <laughs> so I was... Oh, oh, yeah, some, some people really that. struggle with making friends, you know, when they yeah, get to uni. that's very true. That's very true. I mean, my son was really shy when he went to uni and I did worry about him. But he said it was the most... The £54,000 worth of life that makes him able to talk to people now and social support. So it, it was a really beneficial experience it's for him. Paying a debt off us, um, so I'm going to stick a tin of tomatoes in here again. Let's check for that. And I'm not putting fresh garlic because they won't be bothered to buy it or to peel it or to crush it. But if you want to, fresh garlic should have gone in with your onion. Joni felt lonely when her son went to college. I yeah. was by myself. It was, the, it was just... I can't even think about it. Oh, oh, Tina. Oh. Oh. Oh, Tina. Oh, Tina. Oh. Oh, Tina. 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 Oh, Tina.
and I didn't want to call him because I didn't want to hassle him. And all my friends were going, oh, I've spoken to so-and-so, I've spoken to so-and-so, I've spoken to so-and-so. No, spoken to so-and-so. That. And then after about three weeks, he called me and I went, Finley, you haven't bothered to call me. He went, but mum, I didn't need you. You've done such a good job, I didn't need you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, this I'm is not, the thing, I'm, isn't it? I'm not in a good place for this today. <laughs> I was going to say, don't I'm hungover. Hung hung the very proof that you've done a good job is... The when they don't you, turn back, don't and, turn look back and look at you, yeah. and look yeah. how he did, you know, yeah. he, did, he he did so oh, well. We're so you proud of sending huge hugs. Everyone sending hugs. Thank you. Yeah, feel the love. Your day feel will come. <laughs> um, so Lisa, you're taking your son today. I know it's going to be really hard for you because your daughter didn't go to uni, so this is going to be your first child that goes to uni, and it is. It is uh, a moment. But they come back at October and Christmas yeah, 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 yeah. And, and Easter and, and they're it, here for a long time. And it's such a good point Jackie when they... Jackie Bellino boys, eh? Yeah, <laughs> but it's such a good point. When they walk away and they don't look back, you've done a good job. You've done a good job. Yes. But it was so painful. you've done a good job. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. So, Hang on, hang on. Oh. You're just going to rinse off these kidney beans. It's very important to rinse your pulses. Um, Oh yes, yes, that's a very good tip. Yep. <laughs> Otherwise, your pulse races. <laughs> my pulse is racing. Right, so my pulse is totally. I've no, I've got palpitations. I've got. Hush, mouth. Um, you could have put, put these mixed beans as well, or chickpeas, or black beans, all highly or nutritious, or a mixture. You can buy tins of mixed beans. So, and tell your students if there's a basket of like bashed up tins. It's a nice way to buy them. Dinner. Buy them. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. And, and, um, and I'm going to whack in. I don't usually buy these, but Aldi didn't have any cubes, so I'm going to use a little veggie um, jelly pot in it, and that's it. It's done and dusted. And all you need to serve it with is a bag of ready-made rice. So this is all like loads of shops are doing this just for a pound, aren't they? And they're keeping it for a pound. Yeah. So they can use this to eat or make a stir fry or to have a salad. It is a really good by the brown as well. But please, please make sure as your students go off that you give them some food hygiene ideas. You can't eat rice left out. You have to heat everything up all the way through. There was that boy that died a couple of years ago, that student who kept his spaghetti out and just kept eating it all. Over Buy them a microwave. <laughs> bacteria. So make sure you give them a bit of food hygiene lessons because, yeah. And, and toilet them. hygiene lessons. I remember Finley at the end of his first year and he was moving out of the student accommodation. And I just, he goes, Mum, I need to talk to you. He's like, yeah. And then he pans down into his toilet. He goes, what do I do about this? I went, oh my God. You obviously haven't cleaned it for a year. God, I'm sure he's going to be really pleased with shit. Well, no. <laughs> Boys do that, I'm sorry. Boys do well, that. Let's not talk about toilets in yeah. college. Okay, look at that. Can you just pan into that? Yeah, yeah. Look at delicious. how delicious and nutritious that looks. And, and that, that can last. They can take that for a packed lunch. They can, if this is a, this is a meal, this is four or five meals yeah. in there. So it, that took her five minutes to make. Yeah. And for you guys, not students, just yeah. at home. You can have budget, it one, budget as well. You can have it one day with rice, you can have it another day with jacket potato with a bit of cheese on top. If you need a moment at any point to gather yourselves, there's lots of lovely comments coming in. I can okay. step aside uh -huh. and read a few out. Yeah. Few no, no, I don't do that. You can then sort of regather your, your, your hungover brain cells. <laughs> oh, look. Uh, Jacqueline yeah. Clements, my lovely son was too poorly to go to uni. He managed an Open University course. Oh, he, well done, here. Yeah, Natasha Fearon, can I shout out to those who didn't go to conventional uni? Sometimes you can be so close to your dream, but not quite. It's not the Absolutely. end. Absolutely, it's not You went through Open world. University, well done. Big Thank hugs you. to Dina from Marina O'Driscoll. Thank you. Um, lots of love in the room. Uh, lots of people sharing this. Bless you, Dina, says Kylie Mitchell. Well done for being so professional and carrying on. Um, Joni says rice is the worst. Uh, she also says Ted went off off with a suitcase of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How's well, anybody feeling? Is anybody feeling emotional like Dina? Elaine Janolfi, I'm taking my youngest and his girlfriend to look at buying their first home today. I will be childless. Uh, oh. Alex oh. Patton, Dina, I 100% sympathise. My daughter is 17, so not left home yet, but so independent. I also get so emotional as well that I am a single parent. You're a good mum. Yeah. Babe. You're a good mum. Um, heightened hangover emotions, says Steph Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Danielle says it's very difficult when your children leave home. Uh, Bonnie Delaney, old Dina, what a compliment to you. Thank you uh, so much. Natasha Turner sending all her love. What would we do without tin tomatoes, says Elaine Janelfi. That, <laughs> that is, is a big, a that's a good, that's a good, good observation. Question. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay, right. turning, Shall turning around. And someone just said, tears in my eyes. Who was that? 
so it's got right. a brain, a brain, you know, again, tips Point. from... Point. Tips from Dina's son, Finn. He's, I mean, I hate these bags of chopped vegetables, I'm going to be honest. Listen, no kid is going to chop all that up. That's why they love it. I don't like these, but they're quite often... But, but he said these are used a lot yeah. in, in student world. So I'm going to make a ramen. I was going to do um, veggie noodles, but we said actually ramen is a much bigger thing now with young people. We did, it didn't exist. So yeah, I've got a... I felt bereft when I thought I was going to move yeah. that. I love this thing now, Yeah. Uh, that's a funny thing. I wasn't allowed to visit him at you. No, that was no. I didn't, literally didn't go to Bristol for three years. <laughs> she was desperate to as well. So I've got in here 500 mils of just boiling water. Dean had a good idea, actually to use a mushroom um, stock cube because then you get that dashy flavour, the miso, the without the cost well. of a miso, yeah. whereas a mushroom stock cube will give that flavour. Good tip from Dina there. So we've got our base. We're going to add some soy sauce. Now, if you're not on a super, super budget, why not add some ginger, some garlic? We actually bought garlic powder, didn't we, Dina? Yeah. Of course... We believe much more in fresh garlic. Garlic well, powder has it. Very effective financially, though, for students. Yeah, yeah that's totally. what we do. Garlic powder has its place. Like if I'm doing burg um, meatballs or, or fried chicken, I always use dried garlic. If I was making this at home for the kids, I would use fresh garlic. But we want we want just store cupboard store cupboard re recipes. They do Rio chap sell super noodles. And Did I put soy sauce in? Just just more. So I'm just going to put some of the veg in. Well, actually, that mushroom stock smells lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. I put some of the veg in. So look how many meals they would get out of that bag. Oh, I know. And I, I, you know, I might put some in with my. Um... Oh, and it's got beans powder. So this is this is a ramen. So, so yeah. this is a ramen. So in goes the veg. You hate ramen. Uh, Dina, it's could a soup, you? Isn't it? Yeah. So could do you, you not peel... like laxa or anything like that? Like peel those so eggs? to to. Um, I don't like stir fry. To make that a laxa, you could whack a coconut milk in it. Yeah, you? laxa. Yeah, you know, obviously these are cheat versions, very cheaty. Um, oh, oh my God. I wish I had a lid. That's not boiling enough. But imagine that's really boiling, and imagine that that now is is cooked. Okay. <laughs> Let's just go. <laughs> I keep saying, I keep being drawn to this. I know I shouldn't, but I want it. Dean's going to tell you about oh, that. Okay. Um, so we've got our noodles. As, as I said, cheaper to buy dried, but we thought first few days of a kid being away from home, these are the, just the really easy... Oh, sorry, Loz B, my boy going off to uni today. Oh, oh sweetheart. Oh. Well, share some of these recipes with him so that you know he's getting good... So this is really easy to come in late from the pub or come in knackered. Yeah, guys, pra on a practical basis, let me just say this just quickly. On a practical basis, if you've got kids going to college today and tomorrow, send the link of this yeah. to them. Yeah. Because also, Losby, they'll now see your message. So if you've got any messages yeah. for people, that they, it might Are be a nice know? way for them to feel connected with home. Yeah. And then they can watch these two smashing around with their hangovers, <laughs> <laughs> can't they? <laughs> Don't open it for my Yorkshire. Oh, that's Mahoosie. What? It's Mahoosie. And what about the it's, nearly touching, it's nearly touching the, the roof of the oven. So there that's was putting. That's the matters that matter. So I'm putting in the noodles. Who won it this morning for us? Because ramen is, um, you know, that you serve it sort of separately. You don't mix everything in. Do you know that? So then we'll put our veg on the side like that. Mm -hmm. oh, a cup of soup. Is there a place for that in a student thing? Yeah, no, do they do I that mean, anymore? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing is, I think you need to teach them to know that you can have a cup of soup, but literally bung in some bean sprouts yeah. into your cup, yeah, yeah, yeah. just to give yourself a little bit. Yeah. You know, really. Stock of bean sprouts. You know, late nights, lots of drinking, lots of us in there. Immune system get absolutely bust. So yeah. give them as many to pack. Vitamin C, busy vitamin C. If you're on your way, stop at Boots and get them loads of that. I think I ate more kebabs as a student than anything, any other kind of takeaway food. You know? Fresh as yeah. flu is a thing. Yeah, Philly was uh, in Bristol, amazing falafel place, so he was uh, into the falafel. 
So I boiled an egg, because this is the way they do it now, isn't it? Ramen. Um, sesame seeds. We, we put in a lot... No, oh, sesame seeds too yet. expensive. Um, we put... That's what we would do. Yeah. So now, so I'm just going to do the student version. Peanuts are actually really good. Nuts are really, really good way of you to get... Um, and... We know what nuts do. <laughs> we do know what nuts do if we're watching Coffee Morning. If yeah. we don't watch Coffee Morning, do we don't. Do you want to know don't. what champagne hand is? No. I do little, not. A little um, chilli flakes. Oop. <clears throat> Again, remember, we're trying to save you money here. Yeah. We'll do all sorts of chilli oils and everything, but this is just very basic. Oh, gosh, you stop pointing. Young people really like a lot of chilli, don't they? Chili. Oh, you're going to put some spring onions on it? Well, yes, we'll put some spring onions, but they may well not have spring onions, but They're it's cheap. not the end of the world. Amazing there you go. Says they look amazing. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, look at that. Easy and really cheap. And look how many they can do out of that bag. They could Let have me that put it down here with my ready prepared dishes. Now, they could put, add chicken in, get rid of this thing. They could put chicken in that. What? They could put, um, uh, you see, you've got the protein with the egg and the nuts. Really cheap way to get the protein. Okay, I think I need to um, do to my... Do you need to take a photo for the ground? Uh, we're not going to eat it. We'll take it in a minute. Yeah, I'll eat that later. Leave that later. Do you, shall I do my Yorkshire next? Yeah. Okay. So we cooked our sausages over in the, pan, uh, in the oven whilst we're doing the Yorkshire. I'm just going to heat them up a little bit. Oh, Dina, nice. could you put a kettle on? I love an old-fashioned sausage. Kettle on. Don't need much. Oh, no. It's so, boiling. Nice. It's boiling. Oh, yeah. So, 30 grams of um, smash. Yes, I know potatoes are much better for you and all of this, but we're thinking about quick, easy food. Apparently, right, this is vegan. Apparently. If anybody knows God. any different, let me know. Look, look how fantastic this is. If they haven't got scales, get them one of these. So that is 30 grams. I don't know how they know that. It's brilliant, isn't it? And then you just add some hot water or milk. I actually prefer to use hot milk if I'm using Smash, but again, it's much cheaper. And they've got to heat it up. You've got to think about they want to do the bare yeah. minimum. I'm just going to put some onions in there with the sausage. When Mash makes Can I use those peas you had over there? <laughs> Mark. We don't want no education. <laughs> As a teacher. <laughs> Dina, can you make some um, gravy? gravy? So as I said earlier, in my essentials box, I've got onion gravy. Oh, I've got onion gravy too. Because that will go with anything. Here's the boiling water again. That will go with chicken, it will go with veg, it will go with beef. Ow! God, I've just been hit by that sausage. That sausage just fired at me. Did it? They're Sorry. banging. Okay. It's a banging sausage. Do you want to read out some uh, more? Yeah, that's what we do. That Sausage is yeah. banging. Teresa Hutchinson, hot milk instead of water would never have thought to go all milk. Oh, yeah, there you go. All get mash, get smash. Thank you, Rio chap. Do you remember them? They were the funny little kind of... Meh, 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 meh. Sausage Sarni. Oh, Sarni. I'm trying, literally trying to remember what we used to buy. I remember buying baked potatoes. Uh, we used to do a tuna bake. So a tin of tuna, a load of pasta and a bit of cheese. Uh, someone else in the house would always do a chilli con carne. What's your student dish? And for some reason, this is back in the day. I know Nadia's going to go, oh, God, here we go again. But we used to buy rainbow trout all the time and cook trout. Yeah, they were cheap. They were affordable. There's someone at the door. Thank you. Um, it was cheap. It was affordable. We'd wrap them up. We'd chuck them in. They were big. I don't even see trout in the supermarket anymore. Um, we never do spaghetti. Would we do spaghetti? We'd often, do, we'd often do wacky muffins, which was always fun. Sort of wacky kind of, you know, chocolate brownies. You know what I mean? Edibles and all that kind of stuff. Like that. It makes me so happy. Right, so.
so we've got I did I did I did double the amount of smash because that was ridiculous 30 grams is not a portion guys that's just marble so I'm going to put a little knob of butter sorry I'm going to put a little knob of butter you can put olive oil but you don't have to put anything but to add a little bit of extra flavour remember what are we doing we are doing a cheats um Sunday roast for when they're feeling a bit like they're missing home. So, there we go. As I said, you can put a bit of milk or a bit of cream oh, if you're being oh. a bit of <laughs> pasta. No, it's a, it's a pot of stock. Okay. Yeah. Oh. In goes our mash. What are the bits in the mat? I just put some black pepper, pepper. in. Black pepper. Peas? Yeah, where's the... Uh, pepper, squishes? No, the thingies. So what? Tongs. Tongs. Oh, I don't know. Did you have them out? Peas. Have you had them out? Oh, just, just, just give me anything. Just for those, guys. Here we go. I, I want that sausage. Sausage. Oh, blimey. And as I say, don't forget, just use veggie sausage if you're vegetarian. Someone just said, oh, mummy. Oh, mama. Oh, mummy. Oh, mummy. There go. Oh, I'm trying to find you. And then our gaiby. And mash. Like that? Yeah. Oh, mum, I was missing you. But now I'm not. Because I've made myself a lovely little roast. Wow. There you go. Yum, <laughs> yum. Oh. Amazing. And of course, you don't need to have sausages in there. You could just have your mash and your peas and some carrots yeah. and some onion gravy. Yeah. Okay. What a beautiful. Ah! ah. ah. Your wally. Your wally. Right, so um, I am going to do now a quick snack for them. Okay. All right. So they've got some mates around or they're going out on the uh, razzle. On the razzle. On the razzle. And. Oh, what champagne and yes, no. You can tell Not me. Not when we're not talking no, about food. Right, so in here are these handsome little guys that have been handsome, stretched. <laughs> <laughs> that I have been drying off. These are gonna make a lovely snack. So this tin of chickpeas was 38 pence. And not only a snack, you could make a sauce and have them and put them on top yeah. in your curry or something. I want to kill myself. And I'm just gonna sprinkle them with salt. And now can you pass me the olive oil, please? And we're going to roast these for 20 minutes. They so to use olive oil, they can use sunflower fix too. Yeah. It's like they've all got little blinking eyes, isn't it? Oh, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I'm so, I'm not two steps ahead of you, mate. Okay, go. they're going in the oven for 20 minutes. So, why would you not do this when, you, you know, you buy a bag of crisps. How much are crisps now? Anyone out there, how much are crisps? I don't buy them. Well, they always come in multi-packs, don't they? No. Uh, Faith just asked how to dry them. Oh, just by leaving them, draining them and leaving them on kitchen towel, okay. bottom and top. Because okay, otherwise they're not going to crisp. Um, and then while they're doing that, I'll have a little chat about what's down here. So, my son's favourite tomato pasta, all right? So I sent him off with a load of recipe cards, me being me. I wrote them all out and I illustrated them all beautifully. Have you still got oh, them? Yeah. No. Yeah. And Is of it course, in the vlog? Yeah, it should be in the oh, vlog. Look and, um, right there. Oh, God, it's right there. Do any of our followers know what vlog, what vlog that is? It was about 2018. No, they're, 17, they're amazing. 2017. They're amazing at finding yeah. it. So this was just boiled pasta and then I fried the tomato puree in a little bit of oil and added garlic salt, oregano, black pepper, and then you need to, or if your child is going off to uni and is vegan or vegetarian, you need to invest in a tub of this. Not even invest, it's about four pounds something. And it lasts forever. And this gives a lovely cheesy flavour, but it's full of all the B vitamins. They need their B vitamins. And so down here, I've got the same kind of little thing, a tortilla wrap, Sorry. or a pizza base. Um, Tomato puree mixed up with garlic salt, oregano, and just spread on there, fried in the pan in like two minutes. Nice. Fried the mushrooms separately. Again, that's got nutritional yeast on it. So like when you did in Oxford, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a nice little snack. I could just, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, Get in it. When, I lived, it in when I lived in Naples, this was my favourite. Oh, mm. 
breakfast pizza. Mm, breakfast oh, pizza. yummy. Mm. Yeah, and they could add, mm. so if you're not a vegetarian, just do that, but mm. add some ham, add some cheese. You know, students like sweet corn and all that kind of it's malarkey pineapple. Oh. I don't get the sweet corn, but well, I'm not enough. Okay, so I'm now so going to do a pasta food? dish that um, is from our store cupboard ingredients that um, that they can also put in the fridge for a pat lunch or for the next day's lunch. So, hot pasta. Just keep that up hot pasta. So, so what you've got there is at least two portions, but actually three. That was half a packet. Yes, yeah, half a, a packet. A packet is four portions, isn't it? Is it? Do you know what? What the fuck is going on? I think I could have a hairy dog. Hairy dog. Oh gee, yes. What time is it, Mark? Oh, it's time for a hairy dog. Oh, for an alcoholic, which I am, I'm not saying you are. A hairy dog is any time. The sooner the better. Is Get it eleven o'clock? Unleash the beast. Is it eleven o'clock? Yes. You liar, oh, aren't you lying? Are they lying? Is he it's lying? 10, it's ten thirty-five. Oh no, then it has to yes, be eleven. Yeah, yeah. No. eleven. No, when 11. we're in the curly cooks, it's like we're in an airport. Oh yeah. We're, okay. we're flying somewhere. You're taking us somewhere. Well. So the rule bits are off, get out. Well. Otherwise I'll tell you what champagne <laughs> and bath is. So, um, do not tell her what that is. Mum was doing a shop um, from Waitrose and I asked her to pick up a nice little vegan wine for me. So Because she quite wine. often did, yeah. that you love to go I in do. there for the wine. She, I do. You, 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 I both, you both calm down at the talk of wine. It's I scout about everywhere for wine. And she's a big waitress. I scout about a work for everything. I, I'm a, I just look for the best deal of the week. Yeah. You see, and I love their essentials. They are fabulous quality. I love Aldi essentials. They are particularly good. Anyway. I know it's your only reference to little is your feet right now. Right. <laughs> Says it all. Says it all. Right. You going to cook that? Yeah. yeah I'll sure. just pour it in. So, so I've got some essentials cream cheese, <coughs> which is much cheaper than the famous one we all know. So I'm going to put in half a pack. Shout Remember, out to Katie Johnston, who's going to see uh, Loose Live in Ipswich with her dad. Oh, have a great time. It's, it, it really is such a great show. I don't know who the cast is today, but we've been having a ball. So look, lovely creamy pasta in two seconds. Sorry, I'm drawn to the alcohol. Who doesn't love a creamy pasta? So what? It's such a quick way as well, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Creamy pasta is the greatest thing on the planet. Yeah. Well, you could, if you wanted to have extra protein, you could put an egg in there and mix it in as well, a bit like um, a... Yeah, so when, when Finney went first vegetarian, then he went vegan, but... Eggs and cheese were like his main yeah. source of protein and kidney beans. So I've also, now into that, I'm going to put, because it's very studenty, well, I wouldn't eat it, but it is very studenty, doing our research this week with all the students we know. So a tin of, a tin of, a tin of sweet corn, I've got the essential sweet corn, and a tin of I'm getting tuna, tuna bake. Memories. Vibes, are yeah, you? Yeah, I am. This is like so a I, I, So a lot of people have got different names for their tuna things. So I've got friends who calls it tea, a tuna slush. Well, I've got yeah. another one who calls it tuna mush. Oh. Have you got a name for your tuna yeah. bake, your tuna... As always came out with a crusty, cheesy top. Uh, so yours is a bake. Yeah. Yours is a bake. Right, so I'm going to put some chopped red onion That's just right. for colour. And for goodness. <laughs> I'm taking it to the other side now, it destroyed it for me. Now these are little extras that, because we know that we're also cooking here for those of you who are not students and just wanting it. And this is really, let me just do that. This is really nice to put on some lemon zest, but it's unlikely that if you're in student halls, you've got Would a you zest or that? a lemon. I just want to say something I'm observing. What? In marathon running, they say you run the first third with your legs, the second yeah. third with your, heart, with your heart, and the last third with something else. With a brain? Nadia is currently, I can tell, in that middle of the marathon <laughs> where humour and any distraction is diabolical. Uh, uh, She's getting through it, and in the last ten minutes there'll be a flourish as she crosses Hang on, hang on, what are you doing in there? Oh! oh my chickpeas are What's there. going on? What did you want them on? A hundred and eighty. Why are you standing like that? Yeah, that's did you right. turn them off? No, it was off! Oh. Anyway. So, so because what I, you've just given me an idea, and and now again, unlikely that the students are going to have some parsley, but it's really nice to add you. that. Broken. That wasn't in my essentials drawer, and also I've got half a red pepper here, 
And you've had for three years, but <laughs> no, it's not. It, and, and that, of course, red pepper and tuna is just gorgeous. Um, there's a vegan um, cream cheese that. Uh, oh, yeah. The vegan Philly is very good. Vegan Philly and is really the good. Ugly one. So you would just leave but the tube. The, the Philly one will be a bit cheaper. So if you if you you leave out the tuna and you do this and you just add some extra veg if you're a vegetarian. Um, Dina, can you get me a packed lunch box from out there so I can just illustrate the sure different ways? Oh, look at you. Oh, small one, huh? Yeah. With a funny face on it. Oh, from the kids' days. So imagine I've chopped that small. I'm too hungover to be honest, guys. Just just imagine. <laughs> So what we've got there, straight away, lots of black pepper, but I'm too hungover yeah, to do black in, pepper. She's in that middle part of the marathon. Yeah, I'm dying. So what have we got here? I need a little thing that can go in the oven, because I've just Someone had an idea. Someone's saying you put shoes on there, so it's dangerous what you're doing. Nah. A little thing I always, can go in I the always oven. cook in bare feet. Um, right, so we've got a cat lunch. So remember, this is from just half a packet of pasta, one tin of tuna, half a packet of cream cheese. So we've got packed lunch there, okay? That's one. Tuna bake. Yeah. We've got a meal straight away that you can just put in the bowl. Bosh. So you're eating right now, you've come back from the pub, and you want your tuna now. That's one. And you can add extra veg if you've got something in the... I don't know how they afford to go to the pub. I can't afford to go to well, the pub. Well, they don't, do they? No. They've given up alcohol. That's why they take acid. <laughs> <laughs> so that, we've got that. And then we can also do a, bake. a tuna bake. Oh, uh, no, no, this batch, but we did. And then we sprinkled loads of cheese. And then, yeah, where's the cheese? To the right. So I also got a big block of essentials um, cheddar cheese. We definitely had sweet corn in it. I don't think we did onion, but I mean, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much what we did in a deep pan pot thing. Yeah, so you carry on, Dean. I'm going to put the yeah. cheese on top of this. I'm popping it in the oven. Shout out to students. If you want to solve the drug crisis in this country, I can't believe as a recovering alcoholic addict, I'm going to say what I'm about to say. But if you want to solve the uh, drug crisis, in this country, because of course everyone gets really excited about drugs, don't they? Uh, reduce the reduce the price of alcohol. <laughs> Mark, I don't. Think... <laughs> I mean, it's a simple. I can't believe I'm saying that, but you know, it's a fact. It's a fact. That's why they're doing it. That's why they're doing it. No, that's why they're doing it. There is when you're, you know, if you go to the supermarket and buy all that rubbish alcohol. Right. Let's just pretend you did the same. Right. So. <laughs> We're all feeling it. So we did a whole bag of jacket potatoes, which they can stick in the fridge, all right? Reheat or revamp. And I have done two, I'm going to do two dishes with my jacket potatoes. Um, so the first one I'm going to do is just good old fashioned wedges. They love a wedge, they don't do, they? don't they? The word wedge is just great. Yeah, we didn't have wedges when we were no, kids. Sounds like ledge. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so in. I've got, I've got. You're right, Nabs. No, I've got no space. Salt no, it's not that. She's had a blooming alka so she'll have a blinking. Why do we like a wedge? Yeah, I could skin. say as a child of the 60s, I'm not really a wedge fan. I tell you why, because the skin crisped up and fried is delicious. I've made yeah. this all. And the potato is always really soft because it's already been baked, so it's thrice cooked, twice cooked. Oh, I'm making a right pig's ear of this. Yeah. No, that's all right because those the crisp, those broken bits make the crispiness. That's the nice way to do a wedge. Yeah. So uneven. Wow, oh, that's good. Right. Um, yeah, ca carry on while I'm doing this. Okay. Right. This Come is back such a, a bloody mess over here. I I can't <laughs> sister sledge, sister wedge. <laughs> sister sister wedge. Okay. So. Oh, guys. I'm not COVID. Dodo Dixon loves salt chili wedges. Can I just say? Right, shall I do that word. though? Just Salt chili in a wedge. Did right, let's have... Chili. Chili, Willie. Or chili, chili flakes, chili powder would have been better. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have a bit of... Oh, I'm going to have a bit of garlic salt as well, I, I think. I think that you need to drink, Lena. Actually, I haven't commented on that, but Mum... Yeah. That's nice. Come on, that's a... Well done. Wait, just essentially that was 5.49. 5.49. 5.49. 
It, it's called, now normally that would put me off. Um, mellow fruity. Because I'm not a very fruity kind of whiny person, but this is good. Not Vegan, not 549. I say very fruity. Mm. Oh, that'll work, won't it, Mark? Oh. Oh, oh. Is that good? So I've got garlic, chilli, salt. Lovely, and we I just need some oil. I don't toss things like that. Do it again. No, I'm not very yeah, good at it. Good. When you see all these people on Instagram going... I know. I know. Show off. So I wonder yeah. how many times they practice. Yeah. But of course you could put anything on there. You could put some Thai spice or some Chinese flavor. Anything. The world is your oyster. Actually, i tell you what. My, my son tends to like chuck everything in. They are a bit experimental. They do get like, behind you now, so they're both, they're both annoying everyone. <laughs> Can anyone tell me how long my chickpeas have been in? <laughs> okay, so I am going to make some cowboy beans. I thought you said cowboy beans. Cowboy beans. I can't be bothered to cut any more onion, but <clears throat> a whole onion would have been better. On, you can't say I'm going to make cowboy beans and not go, yeah! <laughs> no. So I'm going to make some cowboy beans. Now you can use. If you don't fancy cowboy flavour, you could use curry. What does cowboy taste of? Yeah. Come on, ask a question. What does cowboy taste of? Smoky. I would oh, use a oh, smoky, yeah, smoky paprika. Smoky. Okay, so I'm going to do cowboy curry beans. <laughs> Anna Chara Lumbus says, Nadia looks exhausted. I am exhausted, guys. Yeah. I'm pushing on through. So oh, I'm, I'm just using... Spring onions you keep throwing in everything. Because, I just, because what I'm trying to show is use up your leftover bits. Some black pepper. So a lot of wedges out of two potatoes, isn't it? Yeah. Cowboy um, Some black pepper, so we're frying our spices. Believe it or not, our meal is almost ready. So, this takes your... Um, if, if you want to get pure cowboy flavour, use some really smoky paprika, like it's been cooked on the... On the There's a taste of chance. And... Uh, would you put a little bit? Da da da! Tin Frankfurters. Oh. oh! Come on, Dina. Now, do you want to know about the champagne handbar? Uh, no! Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh. Good. Oh. Feel the pain. It's um, brutal, the pair of you. So. Stop it. This is. Stop it. We've put in three Frankfurters. <laughs> Could add garlic, could add more onions, and you just fry it. What a great one this is for anyone coming home from the pub tonight, guys. And it's just to be the students. Dina, have you ever seen a documentary called The Wiener? About so a good. politician called Wiener who couldn't stop getting his wiener out. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. In Germany, I think oh, it's called. Anyone out there that speaks German? Wiener. Wiener. From Germany? Yeah. Loud okay, go away then. Helen says she cried for a month when my son went to uni. Oh. It was so shy and quiet. Is he, he all right now? came home to live again, moved to London. Oh. Oh, but he's okay cool. now, yeah? yeah? Great. Great. That's all you want for your kids. You just want them to be confident and happy and yeah. able to cope without you. That's the hardest thing. It's realising that they can cope without you. Yeah. That's the hardest thing. It's superfluous. But I mean, he's still like 25 and he's always like, oh, yeah, he's like, Mom, I mean, nothing. Oh. Even when he's really horrible to me. Because he can be. Boys can be really horrible. Oh, yeah. When I talk to my friends and sons, they're like, oh, flipping it. Tired mummy, are you watching? <laughs> yeah, she does agree with me. This is like those tins of beans with bits of sausage in. Yeah, so we've got in there, we've got onion, we've got thing. garlic. Black pepper. I put in some curry powder, but smoked paprika would make it really cowboy style. Chili, and this you can just have cowboy style. What is cowboy style? Oh, I don't know. Mark, stop. Keep asking. Me quite. I'm really struggling here, and you just keep asking me what cowboy fucking beans are. Just conjure an image for yourself. <laughs> nice. They smell lovely. I can smell all that. I would just do, I would just, I like my beans with fried onion, cumin and garlic. Yeah. As I said before, cumin is the greatest anti-fart powder there is. Arty, 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 wind. Right, of course, that, that can also, go completely. of course that can also go brilliantly with one of your jacket potatoes that you previously cooked. Yeah, stick it in the pan. But there's cowboy style. That looks beans. good. 
Right. Okay. That looks good. These all look good. Uh, they look lovely. Okay. Right, so... <coughs> oh, oh my god. Oh down. no, Mark, back away. Back, back away. Back in. Yeah. So I'm just going to... Now, can you just put those on a little oh. here? Um, so I'm going to show you what... My... Oh gosh, you're going to struggle. Has anybody bought their child an air fryer to take to uni? Because I think that is the way forward for them because when they're moving into... <coughs> Sorry, yeah. when they're moving into their own accommodation, they've got to pay the bills. Right, so in here I'm going to do... Rio Chaps has broke back mountain beans, that's right. Aha. Uh -huh. So in here I'm going to do oh. Finley's favourite little, another little snack that he loves, or he's, he would eat it with the wedges. So I just, I'm going to turn those off. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... Is that hurting your head now? Yeah, that's good. Now, could you just find no, a dish no, and put them in the oven? Get them because the chili's going to kill Mark. So, a little bit of oil. And a nice bit of sun flare behind you, Zedine. Oh, is it good flares? It coming out of that. Amongst the cafeteria wall. Do I look angelic? Yeah. Okay, now I've got my drained tin sweet corn. Ah. I have to say, it does work better with frozen sweet corn, but this is far more convenient for them. And you just keep frying this until it goes sticky. All the sugar comes out of the sweet corn. So it, it, it gives them a little salt sugar hit and it's delicious. Well, the sugar in the sweet corn is yeah. caramelised. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, says the best thing you could buy, you could buy them because you need an air fryer. Yes, yeah, I agree. Absolutely. So oh, this um, Yes. So all you're going to need to put into that is salt, garlic salt, and I'm not going to put any chilli because it's too much for you, but that's what you'd put. This is vodka. <laughs> now, can you go into the fridge? Um, I've made some pea fritters. Can you get them out? Someone just said you look beautiful on loose yesterday. Yeah. Like I be today. So I look beautiful today. Thank you. Uh, let's have some black pepper as well. Okay. Are you sidling off now? She finished. She's gone. I've got to do these bloody. Oh. Oh. I think that you've got a problem with your sweat glands. Because <laughs> I feel fine. I feel absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of black pepper in there. Is that very noisy, Mark? I'm sure it is. Oh, what is it? Right. I took another uh, two jacket potatoes, skinned them, and mashed them with garlic, cumin, turmeric, added some peas and some spring onions, and made these lovely pea fritters. Don't forget, peas are high in protein. Encourage your kids to have them in their freezer. Happy New Year, 5784 from Israel, Happy uh, Milton. Happy New Year, Israel. Oh, is it? Well, when we go back to school, when we go back to school in September, we always say Happy New Year to each other because it is. So I have two New Years. Right, I'm just going to leave that. You can see that is all beginning to caramelise now. Turning into a different kind of curly cook. If you're not careful now, it's going to become curly cock. Something's wrong with that. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. nothing menopausal. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to try my quickest stuff now. I've got to clear up now. I've got to do it, but I've come to the tent there. No, for you, I've got to clear up for you. Why, what's he doing? Where am I going to find the room? Now, you could um, dust these in a little bit of flour, but they really don't need it. Um, so let's get the potatoes nice and crispy. My nose is running. I don't know about you sweating. My, maybe my sweat's all coming out my nose. Oh, oh, God. God. I think it is. Oh, it is. Sorry, guys. That's what happened to me. Take the oven, someone said. Oh, that chickpeas, yeah? Oh, my God, it's all kicking off. Yeah, sorry. Um, in, when we were in Siam, I literally... Thank God the audience is so far away, because my nose is going... Mm. Must be nerves or sweat. I'm definitely... All right. Uh. Uh -huh. Jesus, it is a cooking show. Down to your bra. Yeah, I know, but I can't function in. Right, can you smell that corn now, Mark? Can you smell that getting yes. like, almost like a popcorn? 
Do you want all the high protein for those? Oh, peas are. I'm not so sure about corn. Peas definitely are high in protein. Um, but they'll start popping, and that's when you kind of know you need to turn them off. But the wok is great for this because it's nice and thin. My wok must be about 25 years old, I would think. Um, I like the burnt sweet corn. Yeah, this is what you're getting there. It's yeah, yeah, delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got very sore throat, don't worry. Is it the it's chili? Like so it's the chili that's always gets like this when she fries chili. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, it's time to come. <laughs> I haven't got chili in this. The chili's in the oven. The chili's in the oven. Maybe it's just a reaction to broth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can breathe again. That's really weird. What's going on? Right. Okay, I'm going to turn that off now because that's done as I want it to do. Do you want Mark to carry on while I'm just going to. Fry these quietly. Fry what? I haven't put them in the oven. Why don't you put them in the oven? Why? They're not ready. What, the chickpeas? Nah. Yes, they are. Uh, no, they need to be crispy. Oh. I would have rolled them in flour. Oh. No. Why yes. would I make them all glutinous like that? Roll them in flour. You could have put them in chickpea flour. Bite. They haven't got chickpea flour at uni. Bite. This is for students. Yeah, but... It's, we're talking about a teaspoon of flour. Yeah, but they don't, they won't have the information yeah, to get listen, it. If she'd have rubbed them in flour, they'd have been crispy. I have never, I have never corn put them flour, in flour. Corn flour. Oh, bog off. You know, she's taken the top off and become even more combative. Yeah, yeah. right, is that hot enough? I don't like these posh pans of hers. You bought that? No, did I didn't. Did you Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Uh, Mark. Oh, see, with a bit of chilli sauce, these would be delicious. Hey, if you've got space, I've been behind the scenes doing stuff down here too. We haven't got a sink, we've been every sodding pan. It's <laughs> so yellow and that's the turmeric, yeah. right? Yeah. So turmeric, garlic powder, cumin, that is spring it. onions, delicious. And the inside are two jacket potatoes, small jacket potatoes. So that's a great way to, of course, you could do it with smash, but why not use a good old potato? Potatoes are cheap. Ish. All right, you're having a row with yourself. <laughs> I'm not, I'm talking to the people. You are having a row with yourself. Get it not, down, you. Why, you use a smash, you need to use a potato. You need a drink in you, Nadia. You, you just, wow. What's this? Apple fritters. Oh. oh Please don't bring a mandolin out, because no student on this planet has a fucking mandolin. Well, can you, can you slice yes, an apple perfectly? Yes, I'd rather slice an apple. All that is for the mandolin is she feels me laughing. It's boring for everyone because I can't get the <laughs> in the words. I'd so, set it up for you to get a perfect slice. Oh, you can see top now. Okay. These yeah. are delicious mixed with rice. Or you could have them with some vegan sausages in your wedges. Um, I perhaps I need to show people how to make a vegan sausage because they're blooming expensive. Everything vegan, they put a whacking big price well, on it. Well, and also, there's an awful lot of shit that goes into some of this vegan. Yeah. Yeah. Steph Schultz says you're going to be shouted at in a minute, Mark. I'm predicting. Uh, oh, I predict yeah. a riot. No shit, Shirley. I predict, I predict a riot. riot. <laughs> right. What are those? They look like garden apples. They, they are. They're garden apples. Where's that? <laughs> what are you talking about? What a measly little apple. We are doing apple fritters. Have I done apple fritters? Yes, we have, but it doesn't matter. I didn't want to say anything. Oh, you did chopped apple, not ring apple. Rings! Rings! Mm. Rings! Rings what? Anyway, she doesn't want me to tell Rings. you. Anyway, I'm going to tell you what. Hey, oh. a handball. Oh, no, you're I'm not. Quite left to me. So, but if I was you, I wouldn't tell this story. I'll ask the people. Ask them. Ask them. Ask the people. Rio chaps as they look like Fuji apples. <laughs> it's all the bloody apples we got. Spoon, says Rachel Vincent. Spoon. 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 Is that, is that the word? I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm Confucius. I don't know what the hell is oh, going on. I don't know what's going on. What could, what's happening? Anne Marie Evans says, would not trust my student with a big pan of oil like that. <laughs> well, you can do it in shallow. We can do it in shallow. Sorry, so I thought you were about to break into song from uh, Star is Born. Shallow. Oh, yeah, my favourite. <laughs> shallow. That's my favourite. Shallow. Oh, no. I love it. You must never encourage a song to be sung by Nancy. Zena. 
Dina. How she's got a you daughter that can sing. You seem to think that you have a better singing voice no, no, than me. Yours no, is just as no, bloody bad. I don't it's sing, not though. I don't sing. You're always singing. Dina, you sing a lot. I've been asked by a lot of people, when I'm in the staff room singing, so they're like, me. oh, you're really good at singing. You've ever had singing lessons? Put that knife away. So there you go. Dina, you are she's got not... Nice. You are. Natia, I was in the choir. Dina. I played the piano you and the flute. You yeah. were not in the choir. How the heck do you know? You didn't go to my school. Oh! Something's kicking off. Where's this come from? You the were knife not down. in the choir. I had to audition and I had to sing Green Sleeves to get in the choir. Okay, let's hear her sing Green Sleeves and tell us if you think she's going by Henry VIII. Right, any of my friends out there watching who were in the choir with me, Alison, you weren't, you didn't get in, but. Oh! <laughs> Jane, you were in the choir. Judy, you were in the choir. Catherine, you were in the choir. Sing green sleeves. Don't you sound oh, like chalk on a blackboard. Right, oh. I'm not carrying on this argument now. Green sleeves <laughs> are all my joy. What? I play it on the recorder. Oh, that's what I, I learned the flute too, and I can play the hovers tune. That you, that's all you can play. So in lockdown, <laughs> I I took up my recorder again. Hangover aggression says. Took up the recorder and did what with it? I played everything under the sun. It just just poor Finley, who's a proper musician, is like, oh Mum, my god, you had to pick the worst instrument. Natasha Tiranos says, sing off. Nadia, sing green sleeves. I hate. Green yeah, so do I. Oh. Natasha, we'll do it tomorrow. What we each have to do is sing happy birthday. I was forced. Do you remember when they forced me? They were forcing me to do that BBC yes, show. Yes. Forced me to do it. Yeah. Sing happy right. birthday. And what they did was they made me sing happy birthday. Because I kept saying I can't sing. And they went, sing happy birthday. And they sent a they sent a singing expert and he said, I'm afraid to tell you you can sing. No, he didn't. He did. He, he said he did. No, he said I could and I had to do the show. For her, her audition, audition, for her audition for stage school. Yeah, but that's the oh, 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 That's what she sang Desmond for seven verses. Barrow in the marketplace. She sang that for seven verses. <laughs> and did. she got in. But that was a problem with my memory. That wasn't my singing. But I did have to sing Happy Birthday. Sing it. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear subs, happy birthday to you. Okay, go on Dina. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> I say it in Italian. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, to try and cover the fact you can't sing. Auguriate, auguriate. Go on. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is going on? But I think we're having a round. Oh. Right, here are my little shriveled... Oh, listen to those. Not listen. crispy. You did listen what you how crispy they are. But they don't look crispy. Who's going to want to eat that? Little knob ends. <laughs> Dean, you've got to do something with Right, that. I think I'm going to put um, Thai spice on those. But you could put any spice you like. I'd put some paprika. You need some colour on that. Shut the thinking bog up. It's not in my paprika, it's not in my box. Well, borrow some of my paprika. Although I did send Finley with every herb. That was so funny. As soon as he arrived at uni, I was like, keep that in your room, keep that in your room, keep that in your room. Elaine Dennings, please, they're not covered in gluten. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nadia, <laughs> stop opening drawers. Just get it ready. <laughs> Corn flour is not gluten. Get me a little bowl. Or is it gluten? No, but look, corn flour is that's very noisy. Juby said, Stop God that. help you, Mark, when you do the apple fritters. Get, get, a get, a a get, get a bowl. Get a bowl. Get a bowl. Here's a bowl. Thank you very much. That's get easy. Out. Nadia, you are next to useless over there. I can't do this. Fine. You don't have to do anything. Just grab it and then you can shout I've at I've me. I've got to get you to a bloody apple fritter yet. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. My coordination skills weren't too great there. <laughs> To get them in the pan. Nadia is everyone's very annoying little sister, mm. says Kylie Mitchell. Yeah, that Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no, no, no. People are going to turn off. Yeah. This is horrible. <laughs> this is really horrible. Hey, where are you putting these? Oh, I'm suddenly doing her wedges for her. I didn't uh, say anything about my wedges. Yes, you did. You said, can you put my wedges in the oven? How do you sort a wedgie out? Do you just pull it out? Oh, that's a big question, but yeah. it's a cookery show. What do you mean it's never stopped us in the past? 
So, Dina, answer the big question. I How can't. Do you I, I just can't because I have a big, very big butt. She's got, a, she's, got a, she's got the butt that Kim Kardashian paid a fortune for. Uh, One day I'm going to get her to show it. Because um, she grew up in the 70s where you had to hide the big butt. I can never get a wedgie out. I just have to suffer it till I get home. You <laughs> <laughs> can't get it out. It's it it just stays it's there. right up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, I've never ever worn a thong because that's anal floss. So like, I just oh, oh, sorry, you got there. Right. You got there. Right. Anal floss. No, don't repeat it. No, Let it disappear into the ether. Yeah, that's what happens to a wedgie. Mark. <laughs> Right, I'm going to find a King Kardashian bum that is oh, identical hang on, to Dean. We're doing this. Hang on, Kardashian. Oh, God. Now off bum. King Kardashian. Oh, these look lovely. Can't wait to eat these. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. That's you, Dina. Yeah. That that bad. Dina. Come Not that, that is bad. Dina's bum. She has that naturally. No, it's not like that. Dina, I've seen it more than you've seen it because you're never behind it. Right, anyway, bum. put it that way. Look, there you should be having there. it out. Wedges, you be having it off. Wedges, <laughs> wait, wedges, wedges stay there all day until I get home. <laughs> That's and one I heck can, of a wedge. Then I can, so then you dredge the wedge. Then I can hook them out. <laughs> hook them out. Right, okay, now it's got teachers coming yeah. out of the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Garner's on the floor. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm on a night out. <laughs> it's a picky lady. What the fuck are you doing? I can't just delicious. get it ready. I'm chopping them up, dabbing them in that, chucking them in look there. Look at them. They no, you're young. not. This is the problem. You're not doing that. Yeah, but you're next to Eustace. You're uh, is it time for him to do his Yes, totally. Oh, I was waiting for something. I'm done. I'm okay. done. I'm done. Oh, Chi Chi, what are we going to do about them butts, hey? What are we going to do? <laughs> yeah, I'm not touching you, because otherwise the had to wash my handy. Chi Chi. Oh, you can. <laughs> Right, we are going to be doing... Mark! No! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gigi. No. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know. Mark, don't. Don't. If you do that on a live YouTube, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, go away. I can't find my baby. <laughs> Where's my baby? Oh, babe, that's perilous. <laughs> <laughs> We've established you can only find on the evening. <laughs> 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 can't do it, Dean. Come on, Where are my wedges? And your bum <laughs> Right, come on, Mark. Okay. They're in the oh, oven. Okay. Where you told me to put them? Right, okay. Let's <laughs> do. Let's do. Right. Let's do apple slices. Okay. So I'm cutting them out. I'm going to tell you, darling, why are you always trying to preempt? Oh. First of all, anxiety. You need, you need <laughs> total fear. You need to use your apple corer. Yeah. Put it in the middle. Dean, can you just. You know, how's that one? We're heating the oil. Not on. No, 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 no. No, put it on the board. That hurts so much when it goes through your hand. Here we go. Pure danger again. No. Mark, you are good. Alright, oh, I'm just going to let you hurt yourself. Oh, yeah. Go on, hurt yourself. Oh, how'd you get it out? Yeah, that's the pain, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. Oh, I don't want it. <laughs> Mark, you're going to hurt yourself. 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 Mark, you're going to hurt Slices. Don't bash about. That's the best knife. No, you need yes, a bread knife. No, you don't. Yes, you do. Bread knife? Yes, because it has a serrated edge and it gets it gets you into it. Hang on. Have you, go on. Have you got chili? Have you got chili? Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm so concentrating. I'm tensing my buttocks. It's... <laughs> 
How's your wedgie? Mind your fingers. Mind your fingers. Ah! Mark! This is too noisy. I haven't got a wedgie You are today, the noisiest motherfucker on the Mark, planet. stop it. Come on, get on with it. Champagne hand bath. <laughs> no one at uni has an apple pourer. Well, they can slice them in half and take yeah. them out. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a circle. Actually, stop now. Let's do some without. Okay. No, it's not. Okay. Right. So we've got there our Yorkshire pudding mixture. That's that's <laughs> clever. Next to party trick. Oil. Everyone is saying, please be careful. Mark. Okay, I'm careful. I'm right. good. So get your Yorkshire pudding mix. Yes. Don't pour it anywhere. Right. Put it on the board. Gotcha. Okay, into that, put a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Baking powder, into this? Mm hmm And then whisk it in. Here's the whisk. Oh, God. I'm not assisting you today, mate. That's all right, no, I've noticed that. Right, okay, so let me just tell you something. Yes. What you did was, you put a heaped teaspoon of baking powder and this is because you go this way. Okay. Right, you can make this guys, you know, you can make the Yorkshire pudding base before but don't put the baking powder in because it can only last for about half, 15 minutes or so because then it's de -activates. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Marina, this is the best curly cooks ever. I love you guys. Thank you, Aww. Marina. How's your oil doing? The food does How's look amazing. Doing? I don't know, how is my oil well, doing? Well, have a look. What, what do, do I do? Think? How many weeks and months have we been doing this? What have you been learning about oil? Well, I need some bread. No, not yet. It's too high. It's shuddering. Shuddering. I'm frightened. Oh. Okay. Turned it off. Turned it off? It sounds like it's gone off. Oh. I thought you said turn it off. Low. No, you need it low. Okay, it's low. How low can you go? Hello. Okay, so. Okay, hang, come on. Squat, squat as oh, low as you can go. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it. But I'm Hold it. it. I know, turn around. <laughs> oh, Mark, I don't want to do that. I found a wedgie. <laughs> right, everybody now stop Ow. between their hot oil. Mark. Oh, yes. This, this, this looks horrible. <laughs> it does look a bit weird. What's happened? Whisket. It's because you've got a um, whisket. You've yeah. got mustard in it or something. No cinnamon. It's curdled. Okay. okay. So, put dip your... Dip just one in flour. Apple. Yeah. Uh, and then, because you want them really dry, otherwise yes. the batter won't stick. All right, okay. All right, so now dip that so around in the edge batter. as well. I believe. Is there a, that, Dina, can you see if there's a pair of tongs? I believe they can do this in an air fryer. Yeah, they can. We're just doing it this way, guys, but you can just do it in an air fryer. We're doing it for your entertainment. Why don't I do them all whilst we're waiting? Yeah. Um, we're <laughs> just doing it for your entertainment, really, because we know you like. Are to we? See Mark. This is not entertainment. <laughs> um. Anyway. Oh, one of the family guests just said they just got our two year, their two year oh. old and lovely. That's from Butterfly Bell. Oh, Butterfly Bell, yeah. so chuffed. If chuffed, you're seeing that chuffed. and you're wondering what that means, guys, we have a like this. Mark, we have a members <laughs> area. Go on, take saying. What? Well, sorry. Hey? You have a we have a members area. area where you will get the No Name Sunday show and every sort of 10 to 2 weeks you'll get a members live where you can win a car. Um, where Nanny Di is doing one today with me. We're going to be catching up. A car or a and car? And you get a No a Name. Car. And the No Name Sunday show every weekend is either a pre-recorded show with food, with shopping, Natasha. with memes. Shh, shh. Mark, one second. Natasha, you just, just asked me to talk. just you're going on a bit too much. And you're really shouting. Oh my... Fucking <laughs> Christ. It's just my head and it's so loud. Oh my god. I don't know how to do this anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So I'm going to dip these in the batter. Mm -hmm. What would be quite nice is one of those, is one of those, um, is one of those sort of spoons that kind of... I think okay. actually the tongs are probably the best. It doesn't feel very battery. Oh, looks so good. Okay. Sorry. Distracted by it. Okay, and then what? Into the oil. Oh. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, dear. It wasn't hot enough. You were lying. It wasn't on. It was down for too long. <laughs> okay, take it out. Take it Just out. Just leave it there. It will heat up for the next one. Oh, God. That looks oh, nice. Look at that. Dina. It smells so good. Oh, and you can put some vegan cheese oh, on top really of there. Nice. Veggie cheese. All that and nutritional yeast. The thing with nutritional yeast, you don't need to keep it in the fridge. Just like... There, yeah. it adds any flavour to anything. Do you need to turn them over? Just not yet. Oh, look, it's a little sperm! I knew! Oh, look, I could see it and I thought he's just going to go on about that. 
<laughs> which? Yeah, I'm gonna. Right, just so wait. Mark, would you have ever made? So hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> I told you you didn't want to know that. That's oh! Just so fucking just rank. Burn myself. <laughs> that doesn't. I need another good. glass of wine now. Yeah, you do. That you was do. too much. <laughs> CMI. CMI. Right. Okay. It's starting to bubble. No, hang on. Did you what? put it in the batter? Yes. Yeah, but you've only put it in the. Flour. Oh my god! I have been dabbing and dobbing like a no, nut. No, but that one hasn't gone in the batter yet. You have to put it in the batter now. Oh, so I see. Batter, 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 batter. Idiot! You I thought that. this was batter. <laughs> Oh, fuck you know, this batter looks fucking rank. Oh, God. I'm yeah, just going to use my fingers. Yeah, we'll do, yeah. No, no, take that one we'll out. Do one at a time, yeah, one, one at a time. time. Oh. I don't know why he's rushing. Um, well, because you stress me out, good and proper. That's good, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try and put it right yeah. under when you put it in. Okay. See, these, yeah, sort of I can't get this down underneath the... Down underneath, yeah. Really boring question, but what do you do with the dirty oil? Okay, right. I never, ever put oil down the sink. Never. Because it's something horrendous to fall back burgers, which literally ruin the planet. So I pour it into a bottle and then I put it in the bin with the lid on. If not, that's not. Okay, that's probably enough. So I think that's what um, like fish and chip shops do as well, yeah. don't they? Yeah, they put it back into the pan. Now, you don't want to put more than that. What will happen is it will start sweating and spitting. And also you so distribute Mark, the heat and nothing cooks through properly, does it, Dina? Wow. Mark, if you could get the pasta sugar out to cover it over there, and then another plate. Oh, the girls are going to love it. You know what else would be nice in this and would make it very donut test tasting, Dina, with vanilla extract into your. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, not for butter. I've heard that people like Yorkshire pudding with just with golden syrup on. I, I could imagine kids would love that. Yeah. So I think they might be turning over now. Especially that first one. Yeah, that's what I do. Heat the container and then in the bin. But, but, no, I let it cool down and I put it back in the oil bottle. Oh, yum. They look really nice. Okay, so Mark, now put some caster sugar and cinnamon onto that plate. Not loads, but just, yeah, that's it. And some cinnamon. Because that's what we're going to dip them in when they come out the pan. Wow. So that apple will have a little bit of crunch with it. Yeah, but, but they're cooking. I mean, nice. it's quite a hot oil and they're cooking yeah. quite a fair amount of time. And so bring that plate over here, Mark, and we'll put them straight into the... Uh... Yeah. Nice. Right. She's a bit nice, then. Not nice. She was a bit nice. Oh, she's unbroken. Right. I've got no plate no over here. I've got no As soon no as I say nothing. <laughs> as soon as I say nothing, and, I'm, and I just observe <laughs> the rules of the road. <laughs> Take me an arse. You looked a proper arse just then when you said that. And so now you're looking more of a That sound like an arse with, with a bra on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, all right, let's get these out. I think they're done. Mm, look at that. Hitting fish with a yummy. Toss it. Toss it. Toss it. <laughs> That's exactly the problem, isn't it? Oh, look at that. And then turn it over so we've got the whole side up. Yeah, oh, it's pretty. Okay. So I'm going to have to try and get them all out because they're all kind of pinging a bit. Why don't you pin them? Oh, look at that. Wow. Yummy. The girls will have that for breakfast. So, could you do... You could do that with banana. Yep. You've got your banana Anything. fritter. Pineapple, but make sure it's dry. Make Because yeah. otherwise, what happens is the, the batter doesn't stick. They look stunning. That's such a nice quick dessert for them to do, is, or anybody it? really. Yeah, it really is. My well, that mouth was... is watering. And you don't flavor. need a bloody mandolin. That's not the great news. You just chop it straight. Do you get another nice plate right now and just lay them nicely and so they look pretty. Okay. For those She's of you who are plate. vegans, you could start them done with a tempura batter. Yeah. <sighs> so nice. Yeah, I love banana fritters. I don't like eating banana either. Oh, I like, oh, I like banana fritters. Oh. oh, look at his pretty plate he's chosen. Done really well today, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> that does, I that bra, has. that bra Come is coming on. off before the end of the show. Oh, that looks <laughs> stunning. You must be proud of them. They look lovely. Yeah, they, they, it's. I, I, like. I hope you're going to. I hope you're going to eat them. 
The girls will have that for My mum will love one of these. She won't. She will. She, she won't. She it's won't floppy, it. it's soft. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Bring it down the front. Wow. That looks beautiful. Wow, we have done a, have a lot cream of cream or with ice cream. Let's do a little flyby. So we got what have we got? Talk us through. We've them. got chili sin carne. Yes. Nadges. We've got a missing home comfort easy roast dinner. Apple fritters. We've got inside jacket potato pea fritters. Tuna oh, pasta. Ha oh hang on, we've got one in the oven. Uh, oh. a ramen. A cowboy beans, a fried sticky sweet corn, tomato pasta, a crispy chickpeas, and a quick little tortilla pizza. And wedges that smell divine. And so we got three or four meals out of the tuna bake because we did a pasta, we did a packed lunch, and we did a hot lunch. Yeah. So. Right, crack open a bottle of champagne. Oh my god, I need to lie There's in a dark room in a cold bath. Mm. Ever. Oh, bath and champagne? You just said bath. There's only champagne. one ever champagne for me. We don't need no, no education. No. Ooh. 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 Just put another.